Hello, this is Corbus Gaming and I want to show you the Inquisitor set armor mode. So basically this is a special version of the Falmore armor that I wanted to show you. It's simple yet it looks quite menacing if you know what I mean. And this is coming from a guy who hates the Falmore. But that's a matter aside. Now, as the ongoing theme among modders is to use the Skyforge, this is the requirements. First install the mode, the download is in the description down below on the video at Nexus Modes. Then once that installed you need to go to the Skyforge, yes Skyforge, then you need to go to the Elven section of the Armory or of the creation menu and then you scroll all the way down to the Inquisitor set over here. So let's a helmet, let's craft some gauntlets, some boots and an armor. There you go. Alright, now, once this is crafted, we must equip it to show you guys, so that's what we'll be doing next. Alright, so Inquisitor armor, Inquisitor boots, gauntlets, and the helmet, and look at that. And we throw in a... A Samurai Katana, and there you go. Look, this is really high definition armor. If you look closely, shadows, or not shadows, my bad. But light actually reflects on the armor. But look at all the details here. A cross. Yes. Sound sign kinda kind of resembles what the Christians or the Christians Inquisitors did against every uh, every single religion that was not fitted within the Christian tolerance or witchcraft, which was highly, highly punished in medieval Europe. But that's history, we are doing Skyrim now. But nonetheless, look, the cross in the gauntlets, in the shoulder, or in the biceps, triceps location over there in the upper arm. The hood actually has a cross, look at that. In each side, very, very cool armor. Very cool. Now, let's check the stats. So, boots 47, gauntlets 47, light armor 47, and the armor is 1... 37, 137. Well, the stats are not bad considering that I have all the maximum light armor perk and improvements uh, maxed and improved and used. And basically, this can even be upgraded to legendary status, which means that this armor can be a fucking tank. A hell of a tank of an armor, which will be useful for survival. But that is basically it, I guess. The armor looks really cool, I like it. And I'm a vampire, by the way, so yes, menacing. Now let's put this, see what, how this looks like. It kind of fits in, but at the same time doesn't, so let's revert back to the helmet. Which is actually a hood, but yes. None. Alright, alright, nonetheless, this looks good, very good armor. Alright, so basically this is all for me, this is what I wanted to show you, and this is a good look. High definition, no doubts about that. Yes. But basically this is all from it. This is what I wanted to show you. Not much more to it, really. Unless I can use... Yes, this to show the actual first person view and all, but... Yes. Not much more to show you. This is the armor, the Inquisitor set. I hope that you guys enjoy this. And this is all for me. Scorbus is out. I'll see you guys soon for more modes and Skyrim gameplays and other walkthroughs. So, thank you for watching and have an awesome day. See you soon. Scorbus is out.